you were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I sent Private Orion down the street a while ago, and he's not back yet. With all his lost souls about, I fear the worst. Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of their houses. See if you can find him. This could be the tome Ballister seeks. Now we... Uh, what's this? A wizard? <laughs> Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs>
Dog Master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> In his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. You beat Rattlebones! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guard should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tome looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Get back, on dead Fiend! Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one! Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. Guards are scared of me? Well, they should be. Everyone should be. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. You want me to stop haunting the street? Ha! <laughs> Let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me.
enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. You defeated Lady Black Hope? Thanks, Wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. I see you found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits and he was too frightened to come back. Well, well, see, what had happened was... Well, it's not the first time. And <laughs> I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. Say, can you check up on someone for me? I usually see Dorothy out shopping by now, but I fear she's too afraid to leave home. She's just down the road a bit, and she usually keeps her lights on. She doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame her. Aha! Hello there, my friend. Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding. Approach the puppet and we shall begin your lesson. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this... You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. 
This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. But wait! There's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. <laughs> Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good! See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this Frost Beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. You see? Your Ice Beetle has triggered the Ice Charm. Now the Ice Beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the Fire Elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a Fire Elf at the puppet. Now watch what happens next round. And again. Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.